So welcome to Technodad Life and my name is Jeff and today what we'll be doing is making a mini home lab that's going to be super efficient and completely quiet. So why we're building this micro mini uh, silent home lab is I'm going to be sticking it into my father's house so I want the noise to be not so much or silent if possible and then also uh, I want it to be as small as possible because uh, he has a lot of stuff in his house so we're going to make it small and silent. So let's take a look at what we have here so if you saw one of my earlier videos I covered these TP-Link uh, devices in. So what I'm going to do is I got some 3D printed parts. I got a whole bunch of connectors. So the devices here we have a router, a controller, and a switch. We have these CAT6 cables that I got cut to fit specifically for the rack. And we have these little SATA to USB for the Raspberry Pi drives. Now I don't have a 3D printer yet. I have one on order. It should be here in a few days. And so I got these uh, different mounts printed and so these are from Print 3D Print 3D Steve. And so I had him made these special Raspberry Pi. He had the special Raspberry Pi mounts. But I had them add hard drive slots here underneath. And then we have a rack for the switch, uh, the cloud, uh, cloud controller, and then the router. And so these are pretty interesting because they have screws here. So you can actually take these off and combine them into different forms. Like we could combine these two together, uh, but I, what I'm going to do is keep the Raspberry Pi one for myself, actually. And I actually have a line, so this one can only fit four, but I'm talking to somebody who can fit five in here. So we'll see how that works out. So let's test fit our devices. I actually haven't tried to fit them in, so, so he doesn't have these devices, so we'll actually have to see if they fit. Wow, that is like a perfect fit. You can actually get more perfect than that. Look, it doesn't even, doesn't even fall out when I shake it. So there's the cloud controller. Perfect. Now here's the router. Wow. Wow. Perfect. Again. Okay, so, so let's mount these puppies up. So I got the first one up here. I'm just short on screws, so we're just going to have to go with that for right now, but I'll get more in the future. Then I also got these PoE hats for the Raspberry Pi. And so we'll stick these on right now. Okay, so there it is, nice and tight. And let's screw it onto the board here. Uh, 
Okay, we got the first one on there. And I don't know if you can see, but it fits pretty perfectly. So it does have a little space around here, but the definitely just enough room on the top for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I don't know, this is the PoE connector. I don't know how loud that's gonna be, but if it's too loud, then what we'll just do is take that off and go back to using the regular power supply there. Uh, now I just have to find another Raspberry Pi. For some reason, all my Raspberry Pis are disappearing. So now we're going to put on the second PoE hat. Okay, so we got both those in there. So it looks pretty good. I'm noticing the ports stick out slightly on the Raspberry, uh, Raspberry Pi 4 here, but I don't think that really makes a matter. So let's install this in here and then what we'll do is we'll add in our hard drives and get all our cabling and see how it looks. Okay, so we got everything installed. So we have our Raspberry Pis, our cloud controller, our switch, and our router. And I think in the future, what I'll do is I'll exchange these two so we can switch those there. Because this one uh, is PoE powered, so I need to run that over to here. So I'm gonna just put that all here because these two are PoE powered. So let's hook everything up. Okay, so let's attach some hard drives now. So we have these SATA to USB adapters. And so we're gonna plug some hard drives. I have a regular hard drive and an SSD. And so now we get to see if they fit our holes. Uh, so everything fits, so just need some cable management. So what I'm going to do is move this one up here and this one down there. Then we can just use a short cable from there to there. Then that one will go direct down into this port right here. So I got the shortest cables I could for the hard drives and SSDs, but they're still a little long, but it looks pretty good. Uh, the other thing I need to do, this is the only power that needs to be plugged in. And so this is a desktop switch, so it has the power port on the back. What I will eventually do when I move this to here, I'll drill out a little hole here so then that can go through. And that will be hidden. And, oh, one thing I forgot, uh, somebody will probably mention this in the comments, I have these metal... Uh, Raspberry Pi holders, but you can see they don't have a hard drive slot. And so what I'll be looking to do to see if I can make an adapter to put a hard drive on there. Uh, but otherwise, I wouldn't suggest getting these. So future Jeff here, and I just wanted to show you up close to the metal Raspberry Pi holders. And I'll show a picture of a side view of everything here. And then you can see we have our Raspberry Pis hooked up. I actually took off the PoE injectors because the fans just screeched, so not good for me. And then you can see right now we have our router hooked up to our port, but we actually, this is our Ethernet cable because I have a different router plugged in right now. There's our cloud controller, our switch, two Raspberry Pis with no fans on them or PoE right now, but I will, I'm going to get a passive cool uh, top for the Raspberry Pi 4. So I think it turned out pretty well. And so what I'll do is I'll leave links to 3D Steve. So, so if you want to have these printed out, he can do that for you. Or uh, in the comments, if you have a 3D printed uh, Raspberry Pi holder, a rack holder with a, a slot for a hard drive or SSD, leave that link in Th to Thing Universe in the description because right now I couldn't really find any good solutions. Uh, Steve did a good, very good job with this. 
So the next thing to do is plug it all in and see how it works. And I'll do that later, but you take care. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and bye bye. And a special thank you to all my supporters who without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you.